All right. And we're off to the next strike in the series, which is the Nexus, and it's located in Venus. And let's read what the strike is about. The Golden Age legend tells of ancient tunnels below the Academy, where a Vex machine once ate away at the planet. Descend into the old dig site and find this Nexus before it churns again. It'll give you an armor upgrade for your reward at the end, which is actually pretty decent. So let's get to it. Just need to find two more guardians and we'll be off. This one is actually not very difficult at all, but it does have you sprinting around to some areas. So if you can keep the pace up, you can get to the end boss as quickly as possible. There's only three mini bosses that you have to fight, servitors, and then eventually you'll get to the boss. But there is a lot of trash in between, so you want to keep the pace up so that way you can get this over with and go to the next one. Does it pose much of a threat? Well, I actually found getting into Hell's Mouth was a little more difficult than getting into this one. Just because you actually have some better loot if you farmed Hell Mouth a little bit more. But let's hear her speak. Far below the Ishtar Academy, the Vex have set something in motion. A world-eating machine transforming Venus into another link in their intergalactic chain. This nexus must be stopped, and the mind that controls it destroyed. Alright, so that's the mission right there. It's not very difficult at all. The boss, I'll go over the details of what you're supposed to do with him, but it's, he's really simple. Okay, now we're starting off here, and you could either... Can't summon a vehicle, but you can just run across. I recommend you just skip the trash mobs that are there, because, I mean, it's really pointless. Those mobs really have nothing to do with the main mission. So just run past them and go into the respawn restricted zone, which is where the mission really begins. I'd recommend tossing a grenade over here, because there are going to be a lot of enemies popping around that corner every single time. Then afterwards, you're going to have a lot of enemies pop on this section, so you'll want to take care of them. There's going to be three servitors that you need to fight here. Once you've killed every single one of them off, you can continue to the next area which is going to take you to the boss but first you need to clear some trash mobs in order to be able to get them to pop out there's one of them <laughs> I just went right over them it's like hey guys bye guys He was staring down at that grenade like, oh, oh. <laughs> Pick up that blue engram, decoherent. And as I said before, the reason I'm going through these over higher level difficulty is because, one, I want you to see what you're going to see when you're leveling up. But the main reason is because on the strikes that increase the levels, you actually don't get an option on which ones you get a chance to do. It's random. So since it's random, I can't really bring them to you in a timely fashion without having to wait weeks before I can cover them all. Alright, these guys are doing a pretty good job. It makes it easier for me so that I can commentate more. And not have to focus on picking up the slack. <laughs> he saw that grenade, he was like, oh, let me move out of the way. Alright, that's done. Okay, the upper level's open. I want to get that hand cannon.
that you can get from what's the name of that zone? Hellmouth. You actually get a hand cannon there. It's pretty good. And if I can get the level 20 version, I'd be really happy with that. I'd use that over this one any day. Now, excuse me if I sometimes get cut off on my commentary, because, again, concentrating on this and keeping the pace going while, at the same time, commentating is actually pretty difficult. I kill those guys off and then you're gonna go to the next section but let me pick up that engram that I just noticed fell back there <clears throat> alright those guys are clearing out that section that's great fantastic With these guys, I noticed that the best thing that you could do is shoot at their stomachs. Kills them really quickly. Can't say I agree with that one toss. Wait for these guys to push up towards you. They're going to teleport. There's a lot of enemies here. Your best bet is to wait for them. Come at you. And I was intending to actually fling over to where they're at, but... But, you know, I didn't hit the button in time. Okay, so here's the boss room. This is the guy you're going to fight. What you're going to have to do in order to get him to come out first is to kill some minotaurs that are around the room. They're very easy to deal with. There's only about four or five of them. But afterwards, the boss will spawn in. It's very easy to go kill guys or to deal with them and I'm almost dying. I wasn't really close to dying. Unlike White Eagle over here. Okay, I'm like, trying to be a show off. <laughs> Not even. Alright, so here's the boss. He's going to have an indestructible shield that'll spin around him, so you'll just avoid it. When it goes around, you just. And it comes to your angle. What's this? He's dying again? Anyway, it'll spin around like this. And when it does, you just either relocate yourself to shoot around it or just wait for it to spin. I like this particular spot here because, as you can see, you can tank him. It'll cause him to attack you most often. Um, before I get any further with that, you'll have to watch out for these guys, which will spawn in after his health drops to a certain percentage. They'll spawn in over there and right over here. So you'll have to watch out for that. Now if you're standing in this spot, you have to be particularly careful about if they spawn behind you. And one way you could do that is by looking out for smoke that starts to encompass you as you're standing here. And checking your mini-map for the other one. And generally when one spawns, the other one spawns pretty close. a pretty close spawn to each other so just keep shooting the eye of this guy right over here whoa don't go around the corner there oh here we go they're spawning in I want to know why my character isn't vaulting to where I tell him to after I do my special some glitch going on there
These guys are doing a great job of killing this guy. But, you know, he's only level 14. So as you can see now, they can keep shooting at him while he's just focusing in on me. So it's like a good tanking spot to force the boss to look at you. So that way they can just keep pummeling him because you're at a closer proximity generally in this spot than you are wherever you're wherever you could stand with safety. So now these guys, you can actually kill them off pretty easy. It's not hard at all. You just have to make sure to be prepared for when they spawn and then you just turn to them and start shooting. These guys are the ones that provide a little bit more of a challenge. And I think I just died. Yep, I died. I think my grenade went off right next to me and it popped me. The guy got in my way. Anyway, that's the biggest threat, but even then, if you have your ultimate ability, you could take care of the boss real quick, or actually the mobs that spawn in. Come on there, boss. So this is one of my, one of the reasons, even though it's a risky location to the mobs, it's much more better for grabbing the aggro of the boss and having the players be able to focus. Oh, let's move out of here. I don't have a grenade or, or my supercharged ability to be able to take them all out. So you just pull back, kill these guys, try to take them out as quickly as possible because behind me there's going to be some more spawning in. Come on, stop bobbing and weaving right in my head. Every single time I was going to shoot the guy, the guy's head got in the way. And he just soaked up the bullets. It's like, you're beautiful. No more, no more messing around. Let's just mow him down. Boom, there we go. Make sure to pick up these axiomatic beads or any other items that drop. Sometimes you can't see those pyramids very easily. And then give a quick pass over the area and see if you can find any any items or anything that may have dropped the engrams. They're very, very easy to miss. And I wish they would actually fix that. And at this part, you can just pretty much dance it out. And that's it for that dungeon run. Oh, look at that. Outperformed everyone else. Nice. And I get the least rewards. How does that work? It's RNG. That's how it works. Let's see if there's enough time to do another mission. And that was that for the Nexus. Now, onward we go to Winter's Run. Now this one says, As the Vex march to claim the Ishtar Sink, the fallen house of Winter are raising a powerful Archon, stolen from the prison of elders in the Reef. Find the Archon before they fully restore his soul. So, that one... It's probably one of my least favorite ones, but it's not too bad. Here we can get an armor upgrade. So let's jump to it. This one should, again, take about 20 to 30 minutes. There is one section that I do like in this one, above all, is that you actually get vehicles. And that's pretty cool. It doesn't last very long, but it's it's pretty fun. Overall, what do I think about the the strikes? They're interesting concepts. They're essentially five-man dungeon runs from World of Warcraft. Again, I use that game as, as an example because I know a lot more people have played that than any of the other MMOs. And it's also tied to Activision and Bungie because, you know, Blizzard is partnered up with them. 
Not for this game, but, you know, Activision Blizzard. Anyway, the one thing I would like to see changed on strikes is that we don't have just a big bullet sponge boss with just tiny little weenies around. There should actually be some mechanic that we have to interact with, a condition we have to meet, so that way we could do a lot of damage to the boss instantaneously in a big hit. And that way we can continue on fighting mobs and mini bosses maybe the boss disappears and you know we have to deal with other things and then he comes back we attack him you still have to continuously do damage to him but at the same time you need to focus on some of the other minions and other prerequisites in order to take him down let's go ahead and hear this story is they raided the prison of elders in the reef got an archon priest the Queen's bounty is high, so we know it's powerful. We need to hunt this thing down before they fully restore its soul. So yeah, I'd, li I'd like to see some more mechanics that involve less bullet sponge and more actual, you know. We better head for the caves. Come on, just pop out the vehicle. <laughs> keep landing everywhere where I need to not be at to be able to get my vehicle and then I run into the ground what an idiot this is off to a wonderful start ladies and gentlemen so this one's gonna have you travel quite a bit in order to get to the spot you need to to start the mission I consider the mission starting when you actually get to the restricted spawn zone till then it's really just you're in a public area with a group of people Alright, just keep skipping these mobs because you still haven't gotten to the restricted area. You need to get into this cave right over here. <clears throat> it's much faster if you're on a vehicle. Over here, you're going to have to get off. There are probably some creative ways you can get up there, but it's not worth it. So it's right where the mission starts. What are they doing in here? As for the mission, I'm only going to mention anything that's pertinent. I'm not going to just, you know, talk about every bit of strategy you can or what route or path and all of this and that. No, I'm not going to do that. But I am going to talk about some of the interesting things or anything that I need to know. So let's go over here. Take care of these fools. There's some teleports occurring back there, if you notice that. And a little mini boss over here. Not a, not even a mini boss, it's just a Hydra. That grenade got some value. Take care of these guys real quick. And down he goes. Watch out that you don't stand too close to that, because that will blow up and kill you if you stand right on it. Oh, I was hoping to get more than that. <laughs> Give your back to me. One thing I do like about this weapon is that it's very good to fire at. Fire it from the hip. This guy got brave. Took his brave pills. Ooh, look at that. See that chest? Ah, barely made it. You'll have to forgive me. I, I need to get that. I don't have the extra jump, so... We'll just work our way back up there. And try again. I definitely, I need to get that. I just can't let that stand there. Taunting me. Making fun of me. Saying I'm not even a man. Hey, 
There we go. Oh, yeah. And we made it back. <laughs> nice. Let's run over here. Wait, is this going backwards? I think I'm going backwards. No, I'm not. It's fine. All is well. Hopefully these guys have been clearing up a lot. I think there's only two of us. It's just the two of us. <laughs> okay, so notable things in this area. You'll have to clear out all of the trash mobs over here. And then from there, you'll have to start hacking the door right over there. And while that happens, waves of enemies will come down and start to attack you. And you'll need to kill them. It's pretty simple, really. Minotaur managed to restore his health or shields Let's see if we can do something about that This thing is devastating Uh-oh teammates down. Let's go back and help him. I Don't want to have to solo this place They must have snuck up on him. You have to remember that sometimes when you're playing this, some people didn't do the strikes because they weren't interested in it. They were more interested in doing the single player. So sometimes, even if the person is level 20, they may not have had experience in doing this. So cut them some slack. So the enemies seem to be done with this area. Let's get over there and put it to scan. Oh, try to do my jump jets and I crouch instead like an idiot. You can stand here if you're a ranged class or if you like to play at a range, you can stay over here and just start sniping. Over there, enemies will spawn and work their way down towards you, so you need to be careful about that if you're going to be taking up this position right over there. Hey, did you just try to punch me? Got a regen. Alright, we'll deal with that guy soon. Yep, let's deal with him now. Definitely now. Let's back off. Consolidate our fire over here. Well, we're two manning this, so bear that in mind as you watch this video because <laughs> we're down a man. Somebody left. And we haven't been paired with anyone else. And I don't know this guy, he's a pug, so. We're doing pretty good so far. Biggest thing that I'm worried about is the boss is gonna take a little bit more time to kill him because, you know, bullet sponges and all. Let's take care of these guys so that way we can have the high ground. Doing pretty good. You see that beam firing weapon right over me? I'm wondering if that's gonna be used. Like if they're gonna give you a weapon like that in the future that you'll be able to get in this game. Kind of reminds me of the Spartan Cannon from Halo.
get rid of those as quickly as possible. Now we can work on these hydras. Got a pretty good position here because I can't really shoot too much from where the other guys are located at. That shield is it's right where he needs it to be. Okay, so yeah, two manning it pretty well. Let's pick these things up right here. You'll want to pick up those little things on the ground because players, when they use their supercharge ability and they kill off an enemy with it, it drops these orbs and other players, other than the player that created them, can pick them up and they're instants to each player. So if he drops it and there was another guy in the team, he'd be able to pick up his and I'd be able to pick up and what those do is they help restore your supercharge ability quickly. So if you've used it recently, you'll be able to use it again. Nah, they won't mind at all. That's why they put them there, bro. Kill these guys off. If you have like three people, you could just rush in there real quick, but I don't know. Doing that now without the firepower and the distracting fire, seems like I can just get myself killed real quick. Let's sneak our way over here. Now there's a really cool ability for dodging attacks, and it's hitting the R1 and L1, and it like does these jump jets to the side here. So as they're firing at you, you can just completely dodge it. Oh, watch out. Come around that corner a little too fast and you'll end up dead. Clear out some of the trash while the boss there comes around the corner again, or the mini boss, if you will. Oh, watch out! That'll blow up. Alright, you're done with the bikes at this point. Now you gotta move on to the next area. I spoke prematurely. Sometimes the boss like worms his way back in there and you'll have to go on foot and take care of him. Again, remember to pick up your, your items. Checking to see if I left the other ones behind. You'll go up this path, and the main boss will be here. You'll have to kill out some enemies and some waves of enemies, and then finally uh, the action will die down, and then he'll spawn in. For him, you just need to keep running away from him and keep killing the enemies that spawn around there, and then just keep shooting him. He's not chained up. He's not restricted too much of where he can go, so you'll have to move around quite a bit. But one of the areas that seems pretty good Take care of that guy quick. The reason I'm using the ammo here is because there's plenty more back there. Alright, so who's left? Enemies will spawn from up there, from down here, from over here, and from some spots up there. And a sniper will always go up to that location over there.
Oh, wow. Did that punch real? Wow. That punch seriously did an AoE attack that also hurt everyone else. That's pretty awesome. I, did, I knew it. I have that option on there so it can do exactly that. But I didn't think it would actually one-shot everybody else. I mean, on the one hand, that was good. But on the other hand, it also wasted my <laughs> supercharge ability that could come in real handy right about now. But it doesn't have anything to do with the actual supercharge, the way it works. It's just that I, by mistake, used it up. Oh, perfect. Decoherent engram. Let's kill this guy off real quick. Yeah, man, for two people, we're doing pretty good. We'll see when the boss gets here how long it takes us to kill him. There's somebody up there now. They're dead. Let's go up there and help them out. Alright, so as soon as he's ready... Okay, so there's a lot of heavy ammunition there, so I'll have to use that up. Now, that's where the boss comes from. On him, you'll just shoot his head to do your bonus damage, and he'll teleport around. This spot, I notice, works pretty good because he just keeps firing there and keeps shooting. Which makes the fight kind of dull, but he does have a propensity to do that, too. And you'll have to be prepared to relocate. Because if you don't, you'll be stuck back there and he'll kill you. Also, some enemies spawn. As you can see, some shanks. Right from this spot here, so you have to watch out for that. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. And of course, you still have to keep taking care of the mobs that spawn wave after wave. Apparently, I'm kiting this guy around. Let's run up here, regen our shields, and start taking out some of the enemies. I want that servitor dead. He buffs up the enemies around him, so makes it that much more difficult. We'll waste some ammo, because we got plenty around here that we can pick up. I mean, it really wasn't a waste. It was on the boss. Alright, now it's time to forget about the boss and kill the ads. If you don't, well, they'll start building up. Fortunately, my teammate there, he's pretty good at getting rid of him. Alright, we have another servitor here. It's a dangerous spot to be in because enemies can spawn right behind me. Hey, he's taken care of, and we got another house banner, which is about 100 or 200 glimmer. Where's he at?
Alright, so we have some ads building up over here. Some shanks. Again, it, it's very bullet spongy, that boss, and it'd be very nice if they could actually create some content that isn't revolving around just the boss having a whole lot of health. But, you also have to take into consideration, as player strength grows, you know, bosses are going to die a lot faster. I'm not my gear that I have on me isn't necessarily the best or anything it's just some blue gear some of it is old and I'm trying to replace it and yet I still do decent damage. Nothing spectacular, but decent. Gotta get out of there. Alright, we have some invisible enemies spawning in, so we'll have to take care of them. They're like, nope, never mind. Don't want that machine gun. Most of them are counter for. Teammates still alive, right? Yep. So this is taking a little bit longer than normal because, you know, we're missing that third guy. Take care of the trash. My servitor is not giving me a chance to regen. Oh, seriously. Start tunnel vision stay alive really getting hung up in the terrain here gotta love it when that happens We're gonna have to focus the boss a little bit more because his health is still too. Not dying again. Okay, great. So, let's see what else we have here. Other than that servitor, not too much, but the boss is up there, so let's help this guy out. Oh, that missed. Back off and regen a little bit.
We have some cloaked guys coming in. Take care of them. I'm gonna help this guy, he's running away. Alright, so that's taken care of. Let's go pick up that engram. Look at that guy, you saw him trying to be slick? He's like, oh. -hoo -hoo. Little shanks just living up to their name. Get out of here. Nothing, nothing for you this time, Tony, huh? Well, it's going relatively smooth considering we're down a man. And away I go. <laughs> Gotta kill that guy off, because if not, he just keeps sniping over and over. And he can knock out your shield in one well-placed shot, so... Yeah, definitely keep an eye out for that spot. If you see somebody running to there, that's, of course, an enemy. Take him out. Slow this guy down. It was better off than the music melters. I'll contact the Vanguard. Let them know the Archon Priest is dead. One more fallen But if the fallen I'm sure will be Still guys charging in. Let's reload. Search for any items. They really need to add that that any engrams drop on the minimap. You could see an icon. <clears throat> That'd be great. <laughs> Victory dance. And there you have it. He did really good. He picked up a lot of slack. From missing that third guy. And these are the items you'll get. Worthless for me, but I can turn them into plasteel. And there we have it. I hope this was informative and it gave you a preview of what to expect. And if you haven't bought the game and want to know what strikes are about and want to see them for yourself to determine whether you want to get into the game now or wait till they add more content later, maybe this helped you. Who knows? But anyway, I'll be coming up on the next video with the Mars strike missions. And I'll be doing Cerberus V3. And then we'll be doing... Dust Palace. Dust Palace, again, is exclusive to PlayStation 4. And it's going to be that way, I think, until 2015. So, like December, November 2015. So it's pretty exclusive for a long while. Or at least that's what it, I think it's it claimed. Anyway, we'll take a look at that. And then eventually, we'll I'll start doing these over here. And if there's any differences between those other than the level and the standard ones, then I'll make a video encompassing all of them and telling you the differences between them. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed. And that's it for now.